Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel Learn Science with me. Today we are going to discuss one of the most important structure of our body which is eye. Human eye is the sensory organ that reacts with light and allows us vision. So here we have human eye diagram. In this diagram you can see the upper part is called eyelid. The white part of our eye is called sclera. The circular dot within our eye is called pupil and the colored portion of our eye is called iris. The internal structure of our eye is here. Our eyes are made up of three important layers. The uppermost layer, you can see here, this is the uppermost layer. This layer is called sclera. This sclera is the white part of eye. It provides supports to the eyeball. This whole portion, this whole layer, sclera, is made up of a thin membrane which is called conjunctiva. Whenever you learn this layer, sclera, you have to remember one important membrane structure which is called conjunctiva. This conjunctiva and the sclera lubricate the eye and protects it from the microbes. The second layer is called choroid. This choroid is the middle layer of eye and it is present between sclera and retina. Retina is the third layer. Here uh, this pink color indicates this choroid. This is the second layer of eye. And it is made up of blood vessels. These blood vessels supply oxygen and nutrients to the retina. This thin choroid keeps the retina healthy and functioning. The choroid function is to maintain the retina, retina's health. The choroid provides oxygen and the nutrients to the retina and in hold to the eye. Now we have the third layer of our eye which is the retina. Retina is the portion of our eye, is the part of our eye from where the vision begins. And this retina is made up of photoreceptors and uh, these specialized cell photoreceptors are made up of rods and cones. These are the specialized photoreceptors. This orange part indicates the retina. The third layer of our eye is retina. This retina lines the inner surface of the back of eyeball and it is composed of specialized cells called photoreceptors and the photoreceptors consist of rods and cones. What are the functions of these rods and cones? These rods, these photoreceptors cells, rods are responsible to provide black and white vision while the cones, the photoreceptors cones are responsible for color vision. So this is the difference between the receptor cells, rods and cones. Rods provide the vision black and white while the cones provide the colored vision. So retina is very important part. It is the part from where the vision begins. Now we have the cornea. This cornea is the clear outer layer at the front of eye. Just after the sclera, you can see the cornea. This is the transparent part, clear outer part of eye. The important function of cornea is, along with the sclera, the cornea serve as a barrier against dirt, germs and other particles which are harmful for our eyes. Now we have another part of eye which is the iris. This iris is the colored portion of our eye. It is highly pigmented muscular layer. It is responsible for regulating amount of light that gets into the eye by opening and closing of the pupil. So this is the pigmented muscular curtain which regulate amount of light with the help of pupil. And this pupil is the black circle in the center of iris this pupil adjusts the amount of light. This iris and pupil works together in order to adjust and regulate the amount of light which enters into the eye. 
The next is lens. Behind this iris, this colored portion, there is a presence of transparent, biconvex, flexible disc, which is called lens. What is the function of this lens? It focuses light rays onto the retina. So, this is the iris, and just after the iris, behind the iris, we have a lens. The next is aqueous humor. This aqueous humor is the fluid portion of eye. This is the fluid which is produced by the eye, and it supplies nutrition, like amino acids, glucose, vitamin C and it maintains intraocular pressure, the pressure which is present within the eye. Next is optic nerves. These are the optic nerves. Within the eye, there is presence of bundle of more than 1 million nerves which transmits sensory information for vision. So these are some of the important structures of human eye. I hope you understand this lecture. Don't forget to subscribe my channel, learn science with me. Like this video, share it with your friends. Thank you.